is the Rock Metal Podcast, episode 160 with Navra. So Rock Metal Nation, what is up? This is John from the Rock Metal Podcast. And sample you just heard was Hollow by Nick So I've got on the show with me right now. We've got a new album called Hollow set to release via Eclipse Records later this month on June 29th. Right now I'm being joined by guitarist Dan Ralph to share some stories about the music and share more info about the band. So Dan, welcome to the show. Hey, thanks for having me. Absolutely great to have you on. Let's go listen back to that track, Hollow.
All right, coming back from Holland, I just love how it kicks in and never lets up. This is a total ass kicker track, Dan, and it definitely emits a good deal of aggression as well. Yeah, yeah, we um, we certainly are very angry, <laughs> especially you know in regards to the topic that that the you know the album and that particular song centers around it's something we kind of uh, feel passionately about as such. Um, and, you know, that's why we do it. We do the music to to get some emotion out and. Cathartic as it is, I'm just kind of curious. You mentioned the topic around the song. What is the topic, and how did you guys approach that musically? Um, for Hollow, uh, the topic is in regards to um, corruption in religious religious institutions, so specifically organized religions, um, and 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 the the corruption that is involved in that. You know, um, that that's the main gist of that song, and sort of where we ran with with the album art and all that. Okay, cool. Was there anything in particular that, just in general, you guys are angry about it, or was there something in particular that happened that sparked, hey, let's write a song about this and then uh, release some of our anger through the the music? Um, there was, uh, at the time when we were we were writing the album, there was a, a big um, push going on in Australia for the, the uh, gay, gay marriage, L B L B G T Q. I'm not sure what the current... Um, They've added a few letters. Yeah, yeah. It, it, I, you know, I can't keep up anymore. It's constantly changing. Exactly, which is fine, you know. But um, <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> for the you know marriage equality, I'll just say, let's just say that. Yeah, right. Um, there was a, there was a big push for marriage equality, um, so that raised a lot of um, a lot of hate and fear mongering in our media as such. A lot of the more right wing conservative types were really getting um, up in arms and and really just. Mm, Making up some some interesting facts in quotation marks about um, you know, mm-hmm. you can't let them marry because then the sky is gonna fall. You of know, course, the, 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 all the children will have AIDS. It's just just stupid stuff. Yeah, the money um, will disappear, and we won't have money anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, you know, and that that sort of got under our skin a bit, and so yeah, that's absolutely you know, fabulous because. Um, being in Canada, we get to experience what goes on in the United States and we handled all of that a long time ago. Um, mm. and the cool thing was I was actually living in the States at the time. And I remember watching it stateside, what was going on in Canada. And they were like, regardless of how we feel, what does the charter of rights say? And then it just, that was it. It was the weirdest. It's like, it was so Canadian. And then, in the, <laughs> and then in the States, they like fought over it and battled over it for years where, uh, at the time I was living in the States, George Bush was president, and he wanted to amend the Constitution so that they could actually disallow people from doing that. And I was like, this is crazy. I need to go back home. Um, yeah. You know, um, and then in Europe, I think they handled it fairly similarly to the way Canada did somewhat. And then I just never really – it's funny. Being in Canada, I never really think that anything's going wrong in Australia. It's like, <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, you know it's, it's nuts because obviously like a lot of people – on you know that you speak to day to day are all going well yeah we, we'll, for one either you know we don't care people can do consenting adults can do whatever consenting adults want to want to do <laughs> you know um, but the yeah, the media was was really just really driving it home about how um, how horrible of a thing it was and you know how could we let our country get to this point and it's just like you know <laughs> what next communism yeah <laughs> yeah right I'm not standing in line for anything. Mm, As mm. I proceed to stand in a queue for everything. <laughs> exactly. Now, for Rock exactly. Nation who dug the track hollow, if you go and go to today's show notes, that's www.therockmetalpodcast.ca. You can go and see the music video. Now, Dan, go ahead and take us through the production of the music video. Right. So uh, we, we kind of just um, wanted to run with this, this idea um, that doesn't necessarily line up with the... Uh, the lyrics to the song or anything. We just had a, a an, an idea. I had, I had a friend that actually had an idea who um, who works on our does production for our videos. He said, "What about it? We just have you know this tour video, and you're just driving along, and we'll shoot it all you know really raw, like tour documentary style, and then just you know a quarter way through the video, you know this thing will just happen, which I don't want to say now because I want people to watch the video to find out what happens. Of course, but this thing happens out of nowhere, and then you know how you guys react to it, and we, you know." A couple of us kind of had different <laughs> different ideas of how it was going to happen, and then, you know, we sat down and put some pens of paper and, and just kind of hashed out what is now the hollow video. And um, 
Yeah, which was, was super fun to shoot because, you know, you don't have the pressures of um, uh, of having to stick to a, a hard and hard line script about stuff because, um, as I said, it is quite a raw shot video. Um, and, you know, usually with music videos, you have to do live band shots as well, which you have to play the song 50 times in a row with different angles, different shots. And, you know, oh, no, we, we have to can't do that because someone smiled here or someone tripped up here, whatever here. It's just like, all right, we'll just run through and shoot this. Somebody's wearing white. Think, yeah, exactly. I think there, you know, there was a scene where we had to bury somebody or something. Watch the video. Um, I think we took two <laughs> shots of that and that was the most repetitive thing we did and that was it so it was awesome wow. but, um, but yeah, it was fun and then you know we had a good laugh watching it back and, and showed it around to people and it's been received really well everyone's really digging it so yeah yeah, yeah. Very, very fantastic stuff now let's go listen to the next track Space to Breathe
Metal Nation, it's John from the Rock Metal Podcast. For a real quick break to let you know that Jay over at Metal Mayhem Radio is looking to help you get your band in rotation on his station. So go ahead and hit up Jay at studio at metalmayhemradio.co.uk. That is studio at metalmayhemradio.co.uk. Just go ahead and say that the Rock Metal Podcast sent you. He'll get you into rotation on Metal Mayhem Radio. All right, coming back from Space to Breathe. Now, speaking of Space to Breathe, it's got a very spaciness to it. And it actually reminds me a lot of like in flames and soil work. Yeah, well, they'd be two, probably two of our biggest influences, um, mainly in the earlier Nabro stuff. Um, I think with this newer newer album, um, Space to Breathe is definitely the most um, that in, that Gothenburg in flames soil work sort of sounding song that we we have on this album. Um, I think it's kind of one of the reasons we wanted to push it as a single because it's kind of like you know hey we haven't completely changed and gone we're super down tunes like with Hollow we, you know we still have a bit of the old stuff going on we're still um, open but also just that intro riff I mean the the minute we all heard it James um, the vocalist who also writes a lot of the music on guitar um, he wrote that one and he showed us all that intro riff from near our jaws just dropped and we went that's it's just crushing you know that intro mm-hmm. so. Um, yeah, that was as soon as we heard it, we were like, "That's that's that's single material for sure." Yeah, absolutely. Now I'm curious. Speaking of the lyrics, what's the story or inspiration behind "Space to Breathe"? All right. Well, this one it, it, it's quite a funny one. So that's not super funny. It's kind of awkward, but it, it, it's good. It's it's so <laughs> it's pretty, it's pretty much about when we when we first started writing this album, there was a bit a bit of a headbutting, I guess, amongst all of us about certain. You know uh, how the album was sounding, and some people wanted. You know, there are a couple of things where people were like, "Oh, I don't know about this sort of sound. Where we're we going with this?" And it, you know, it all came together. But um, obviously, the album's getting released, and you know, we're all still in the band. But um, there, there was a a bit of a time where it was um, un- uncertain about sort of like what direction we're going to take with the album, and so this the song kind of is about um, sort of feeling that the pressure and tensions that arise in in groups of creative people, you know, because all the time not everyone's going to have the same creative vision. You're going to have head budding. You're going to you know, you have to make compromises for the, you know, to make sure the song or the album or whatever sounds as good as it can be. So, yeah, that's the song's written about that, about the, the feelings of, of, of anger, I guess. You know, a lot of the, the music we write is about being angry, being in a – a metal band that's kind of what happens mm-hmm. mad at your dad and, um, <laughs> yeah mad at your dad mad at religion mad at your <laughs> band members writing songs about vietnam <laughs> yeah back in um i wasn't even alive but you know here's a song anyway yeah i love mm. getting those in my in my inbox oh a new metal song we look at it and it's got like stock footage from world war ii and vietnam and i'm like really guys <laughs> Again? Is that just? I thought we spoke about this. I thought we had the time. I thought Slayer did that like thirty years ago. Let's move on. <laughs> yeah, Let's move on. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Cool, cool. So for Rock Metal Nation, who dug the track space to breathe, if you go and go to today's show notes, that is www.therockmetalpodcast.ca. You can go see the music video for Space to Breathe. Now, there's a money hungry guy in that video. Is that does that have anything to do with the song? Well, I, sort of. I mean, one one we we, we kind of. For the video, for the inspiration, for a couple of those clips, we um, we took some uh, some things that have happened to us in real life and to you know other bands that we're friends with and stuff. Just in terms of like you know things that can really stuff around with bands. So one of those things is people <clears throat> quitting the band to go and you know they decided no, I don't want to do this anymore. It's time to work full time. You know, just do the nine to five thing and make some money and buy a house and all that kind of stuff. So that's what that um, the, the the rich guy. Snorting the the whiz fizz that we that we got in trouble with with Google apparently, <laughs> um, yeah that was good. Um, the that's just sort of, are dead yeah, again. Just 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 the fat cat, rich guy mm-hmm. with his contract and his cocaine doing his thing. Doing his thing. Yeah, it's important doing that uh, Australia stays on a high moral ground with the uh, international community. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Cool, cool. Now, for Rock Meditation, who dug the two tracks, Hollow and Space to Breathe, they're going to be more than excited to hear that there is a full album coming out on June 29th called Hollow. So, Dan, go ahead and take us through the album. When we pick it up, what should we expect? Um, aggression, as we've already been speaking about. Um, super fat, groovy riffs. 
really cool guitar melodies. Um, we've kind of changed it up with the vocals a little bit. Um, again, less less clean singing, a little more like aggressive, shouty clean singing, I guess. Um, just, yeah, big fat riffs, melody. That's what we're about. All right, so for Rock Metal Issues, currently frothing at the ears. They've heard Hollow. They've heard Space Debris. They love the two tracks. They're super excited about the full album coming out called Hollow on June 29th. Next logical question is, how can they find out more about you? Is there a place they should go to on the web? Yeah, you can find out more about us on any of the usual social media apps, whether that's Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, or through any of the Eclipse Records websites or Facebook pages or Instagrams. Um, we usually run under the tag Nabarus Band, so you can find us that way. All right. Well, Dan, unless there's anything else you wanted to throw out there, I just wanted to thank you for taking time out of your day to come on to the Rock Metal Podcast and sharing Nabarus with Rock Metal Nation. Yeah, man. Thanks for having me. Um, everyone, if you dig the tunes, jump on the Facebook, give us a like, share the page, just enjoy the tunes. <laughs> Hopefully just found your new favorite band in Navarus. Big thanks again to them for coming on and sharing their music with us. Make sure to head over to www.therockmetalpodcast.ca to get all the information on the show you just heard today. And until then, rock on, Rock Metal Nation.